how do I deal with ego when ego wants to be right, when ego wants to win? Asking myself this question, what if I am wrong? How about another perspective? How about another point of view? Being open to other point of views, other perspectives, other opinions. It's not actually opinions. It's other people's experiences, how they see it, how they feel about it. That is one way to deal with ego. Because think about it, we all have egos. I'm attached to my point of view, you're attached to your point of view, you want your point of view to win, I want my point of view to win. And when my point of view wins, I feel happy. When your point of view wins, you feel happy. When my point of view doesn't win, I don't feel so happy. <laughs> it's varying degrees of happiness and unhappiness. But what if I train myself that it's okay, there are other point of views. I can preserve, project and protect my point of view, but my point of view doesn't have to win. And neither does other people's point of views. It is not about winning or losing. It is about holding space for other perspectives. What if the other person is right? What if I am wrong? No one really wants to be wrong. No one really wants to lose. But these are some questions one can offer to self so that I don't constantly suffer. So I don't constantly feel let down when I don't win, when my point of view doesn't win. Because my point of view, my perspective is one out of so many other perspectives on the same topic. And when I allow other point of views to prevail alongside my own point of view, it is important to have your own perspective, your own point of view. Your ego is important, but so is other people's ego. I'm telling them I love you when I allow your point of view. And when I allow my point of view, when I project, share my point of view, I'm telling myself I love me. And when everyone does that, guess what? It is, I love everyone and everyone loves me, which is the God's honest truth. <laughs>